Hey guys, Ivan here and in this video we have a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates and we are starting with this one, a physique update of Flex Lewis. It's been a long time since we saw a proper physique update of him and also a very controversial statement from him as well. And the statement is that he is natural, that he has been natural for 6 months or half a year now. He took this photo from a very big distance, so you can't really see what is going on there unless you zoom in, which is not a problem, but before we get into analyzing his current physique, let's read what he has to say actually. So here is his physique and health update, he says he is 210 pounds right now, which is 2 pounds below what was his weight cap when he was winning the Mr. Olympia titles. He says he's training 4 times a week, he's doing cardio 3-4 to four times a week and he's eating 3-4 to four meals a day. So he's still training and eating and doing stuff like that, but he's not super focused, obviously. He says, I had all my blood work back today and I'm beyond happy, everything is in range or better. So Flex Lewis is healthy right now. And then it starts, he says in a few weeks time, I will start on some TRT, the first time in 6 months. And then he says he doesn't care if we believe him or not. And then he says he has been training since he was 12, and uh, if his physique was ruined in 6 months of not training, after working hard for 26 years, he has been doing something wrong. He says also, I'm gonna try to get better at doing some physique updates and document the changes in the process along with more training and YouTube videos. And I hope he's gonna post more physique updates once he starts his TRT, but let's take a look at his physique right now. And the question obviously is, is he telling us the truth? Has he been really off of everything? He hasn't even been on TRT for half a year. Half a year, guys. And he looks like this. In my opinion, he looks really good right now. He has visible abs, you can see the body fat percent is very low, his chest still looks big and hard and full, also his arms are looking pretty big, forearms too. As far as the shoulders and traps, that is the area where he lost a lot, which is commonly what happens when you step off the gear. That's the area where you lose some of that fullness, that pop, you know, through shoulders and traps. And also his waist looks much bigger now, but it's not because his waist grew, it's because everything else got smaller. Here is what he looked like when he was in full-blown off-season. Insane, right? Insane. Crazy muscle bellies. Just look at those freaking calves. What is going on there? How massive his calves are. It's ridiculous. Also his arms, the fullness of the arms. And also you can see here his upper chest, his delts and his traps. He was round everywhere. Quads, calves, forearms. Look at the forearms. Look at the brachialis. He was just popping everywhere like crazy. Look at this photo. It looks like he was training chest here. His chest here looks bursting full. Everything looks so round. This is probably maybe after a couple of weeks of dieting this was perhaps a little bit deeper in the prep but basically this is how big Flex Lewis was when he was on gear when he was fully committed to bodybuilding so as you can see he was pound for pound a freaking monster for a guy of his height of his frame he was packing so much muscle it was insane and now he looks like this do I believe that he has been off of everything for the past 6 months? Sure, sure I do, why wouldn't I? Obviously he is not as big as he was when he was full blown, of course he didn't lose all the muscle. As we just read, he is eating meals, he is training, he is doing cardio, so that's why his body fat percent is low, that's why he has this much muscle, and that's why he looks pretty good. For a guy who was a former professional bodybuilder and now has been 6 months off of everything, he looks good. Compared to a Mr. Olympia 7 times, 2-12 Mr. Olympia winner, he is a shadow of his former self, but if you consider all the factors in this current situation of his, he does look very good, he does look very good, and as he says, he's healthy, and there is basically no reason for him to be enormous if he's retired, as he says he is. So he doesn't have any plans of competing again, and so for his health, the best move would probably be to just downsize even more, to be like, I don't know, 180 at his height, 
that would be pretty healthy but you know 210 lean looks very good he still looks like a very good bodybuilder flex wheeler at his absolute best is possibly top five in the open mr olympia but like this he still looks like a phenomenal bodybuilder really and he's completely natural now when he starts his trt which he's gonna start probably because of health reasons and if he keeps doing what he was doing so far he's just gonna get bigger leaner better now if he told us that this was his physique after six months of trt i would believe that but he says he was completely off completely natural and maybe because of that some would expect that he would lose more muscle in six months maybe you would imagine that he would make a transformation that dennis wolf for example did but as you saw in that caption he's still training he's still eating and that's why he looks like this and also i see no reason for him to lie to us about this if you can think of any motive for him to lie tell me in the comment section down below and also tell me what you think about his current physique and do you trust do you believe that he has been completely off of everything for half a year if you guys have trouble sleeping especially during these hot summer days i would suggest you to start supplementing with something like vintage bliss it is all natural completely natural ingredients but the combination of these ingredients is just so amazing it works so well if you guys want a discount just use the code even and there is a link down below that will get you to the website all right next we have a physique update a posing video of samson dauda who looks incredibly freaking massive right now it's insane how much muscle he was able to put on and as you can see here in the caption he has i can't hide it being this weight for the first time ever hasn't been a struggle but we keep going i don't know exactly what his weight is but he looks ridiculous let's take a look at this video and let's analyze it just based on the size of his legs the size of his chest you can sort of grasp the density of samson dowder right now so he definitely put on a ton of muscle a ton of mass look at that side leg look at that side leg and look at the thickness the density from the side ridiculous his back is definitely improved he has a lot of time until the Mr. Olympia and I'm expecting him to improve his back even more and maybe until that point his back is not even gonna be a weak link but currently it is the weakest body part but it's not bad. Look at his side tricep now. <laughs> he can't even flex the triceps how big he is, how round he is. Look at the arms here, look at the chest, look at the legs. Everything is so round. He's forming one big freaking circle. Look at the legs. Look at this. It's ridiculous. Look at this most muscular. So he definitely put on a serious amount of muscle, serious mass. Milo Sharchev, who is obviously Samson's coach, said that Samson is trying to pull a Ronnie. So he wants to come in much, much bigger than we ever saw and it's working. I don't know what exactly he's doing and what is he doing differently from before, but whatever it is, it's paying off. It's definitely paying off. Milo Sharchev has his insulin protocols, you know, lots of sugar, lots of insulin, stuff like that. And maybe that's what he's doing with Samson. Maybe Samson has a crazy fast metabolism. I would say so. I think he's really pushing the food and he's just getting rounder and bigger and uh, more bloated maybe, but not fatter. He doesn't gain any fat. As you can see, he's very, very lean. So he's obviously able to push the full look at his side tricep. He's obviously able look at the arm here, the right arm especially. It looks like chronic almond a little. So I was saying he's able to push the food and also push the simple sugars and also utilize a lot of insulin and still look lean and still just get fuller and bigger and rounder. And obviously working with Milos is paying off. This is my favorite thing that he does in this video. Look at his side tricep when he does that. He can't even properly flex the triceps, but that's good. You know, he's going to be able to do that once he's on stage. But here you can see the sheer mass, the side leg, the arms, the shoulders and the chest. It's a crazy density, but his waist also looks pretty small. Of course, it's a little bit blown out. He's probably really full right now and bloated because he's eating a ton of food. But, you know, his waist, his waist is small. It's also crazy when he does this variation of the abs and thighs. You can see just how much mass he added to those quads. And look at the ab details. So he's really lean. He's not going to have any trouble coming in condition at the Mr. Olympia. And we can be sure that he's going to be much bigger and more impressive. So what can we expect of this guy? Can he actually crack the top six? 
weeks. I mean, that would be insane because it's really hard to crack the top echelon of bodybuilders, especially today when guys are so competitive. The entire top 10 is really, really close and they're all pushing it to the max. Just talking about Samson potentially cracking that top 6 means that he is doing really well right now. What do you guys predict for Samson at the Mr. Olympia 2022? Of course, Chicago Pro was won by Antoine Voyant, he pretty much nailed it, he killed everybody, he was so shredded, I'm looking at his photo and I'm thinking, look at these inner legs, look at the adductors, look at the vascularity there, and look at the, the, the midsection, everything was so shredded, so tight, and I'm starting to really doubt the fact that he downsized at all. I think he just came in more conditioned this year and that's why he looked this good, he was just peeled. Maybe he was like 10, maybe 15 tops, pounds lighter than last year, but he didn't need those 10 pounds or however. He just came in completely shredded and just killed everybody at this show and deserved his Mr. Olympic qualification. Will we ever see this guy back on that Mr. Olympia stage or is his career over? Who knows, who knows, but here is a photo that he posted in which he doesn't look that bad, right? He doesn't look ridiculously massive like he used to be back when he was at his best in his off seasons, but he doesn't look small by any means. I mean, those delts are looking pretty big, pretty round. Also, the arms are looking very good. Look at the triceps and the biceps. Yeah, he's known for having the best arms in the world. That's why they look very good. But like overall, the size of this guy, not just the arms and the delts, but you can get an idea of how, how massive he is right now based on the chest to back density. You can't really see too much on this photo, but you can see that his chest is not really caved in. He still has, you know, that chest pop. You can also see that his legs are not very small. They are also pretty big, but does this mean anything? Thing. Well, it means that Raleigh didn't lose all his gains, but does it mean that he's at his old size? Do not make a mistake, guys. This is what Rolly Winkler used to look in the offseason when he was at his best. This guy was a beast. He was one of the biggest bodybuilders in bodybuilding. So he was definitely a mass monster by all means, which he is not really today. Not anymore. He looks like he's on tier 2 or something like that. And if he really wanted to come back, I believe he could do that. I think his body is still fresh enough. Last year was not a success for him. It was a, a big failure. But he told us about not training in the offseason at all. And he was just prepping, trying to grow into the show. It didn't work out very well. But if he really wanted to, and if he was really willing to do what he was doing before when he was younger, I think he could do it. It is insane that a human being has this much muscle, but I'm sure he can do it if he's really willing to risk his health, if he still has that fire, I think his body is still fresh enough for him to get massive and get lean and for it to look good, maybe better than ever. But is there still that fire burning inside Rolly Winkler? Is there still that passion? Because I don't really see it. Maybe I'm mistaken, but I don't really see it. Physically, could he do it? It looks like he could, but I don't know if he's in that place mentally. Whatever you guys think though, tell me in the comment section down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And for more bodybuilding videos like this, subscribe to my channel guys. Thank you so much for watching. All the best and bye bye.